The year 2014 could best be characterized by three words, commitment, volunteerism, advocacy. The stories behind these words have made 2014 a remarkable year in the evolution of the Lucas County Board of Developmental Disabilities and the ongoing assurance to pursue for individuals with developmental disabilities the same opportunities and life experiences in our community as all other citizens. A statement from the board this past year reinforces the commitment to the belief that the individuals it serves have a right to shape their own futures. That means they should have choice, choice in where they live, work, and socialize. The board recognizes there are several factors that could influence changes on the horizon. But the board's commitment is that individuals serve will continue to have choice and continue to receive the full array of options now present. The board will maintain a commitment to the Employment First Initiative to open options for individuals to be employed in the community. But Lot Industries will remain a valuable alternative for those who might not be able to secure or want to secure jobs in the community. Lot Industries in 2014 open new horizons with hydro stripping. The City of Toledo replaces 13,000 signs annually in its sign replacement program. Lot Industries hydro stripping service will allow the city to realize 25% savings in this program. Time after time through the year, persons served by the Lucas County Board of DD showed their resolve to help make the community a better place to live through their acts of volunteerism. There were numerous outings in the community to help with litter control, countless hours spent supporting food banks, and collecting toys for the less fortunate during the holidays, and even participating in fun events such as the dragon boat races and the ice bucket challenge. The Lucas County Board of DD considers itself the primary advocate for persons with developmental disabilities, working to break down the attitudinal barriers that often stand in the way of full access to employment, housing, and social activities. The board supports the work of EAC, the Employee Advocate and Advisory Council, and People First. The board participated with other human service organizations in Lucas County in the first ever goal ball tournament, demonstrating the athletic abilities of persons with vision challenges. The board joined county commissioners, the sheriff, TARDA, and other agencies on a special task force to fight human trafficking. And there were individual advocacy efforts, such as Tyler Wiley's success to win free admission to athletic events and performances in the Toledo public school system. The Toledo area has come to recognize the Shared Live Studio as a noteworthy member of the Toledo arts community. Art from Shared Lives was on display at the Toledo Public Library, the zoo, and throughout downtown Toledo during Winterfest. Shared Lives was the recipient of the prestigious Innovation Award from the Toledo Community Foundation, an acknowledgement that the community recognizes and appreciates the work of the artists of Shared Live Studio. Celebrating the success of early intervention, families gathered for a playgroup reunion, recognizing the opportunity to the developmental skills of their children through natural play, but also the meaningful connections made to other families sharing similar life experiences. Two Lucas County Special Olympians brought back gold medals from the USA Games in Princeton. Hats off to Jim Jackson and Chris Sanner. The board, through its Community Supports Unit, conducted sensitivity training for area Girl Scouts providing them with an awareness of the challenges faced by individuals with disabilities. The Ohio Department of DD surveyed the operations of the Lucas County Board and found the board had achieved substantial compliance. In a letter to Board President Mark Fry, 
Department Director John Martin wrote, the board members and staff are to be commended for the efforts necessary to achieve this status. Preferred Properties is preparing for the ribbon cutting of its Bridgepoint Senior Village. The development is a HUD Section 202 project featuring 11 units for the elderly, including universal and accessible design elements. Deb Yenrich returned to the Lucas County Board of DD, accepting the position of superintendent. In previous employment with the board, Deb served as a facility manager, case management coordinator, and director of adult services. Superintendent Yenrich has outlined for the board an action plan for 2015 that affirms the Lucas County Board of DD will adhere to a consumer's right to choose from a variety of options. Our system will continue to be built around the concept of person-centered planning. That means, very simply, in the development of each personal plan, we will listen to the person served, family and guardian. The quality service delivery system the board envisions maintains an array of options. Some of those options may lead to a more integrated lifestyle, but the board will continue its role as the safety net for those who wish to explore new opportunities. While the Lucas County Board of DD has been in existence for almost 50 years, we like to trace our lineage back more than 75 years to the pioneer work attributed to Josina Lund. From the very small school program she started in the dining room of her West Toledo apartment, an evolution of services and supports has taken us to the sprawling production facilities of today, integrated schools, and increased opportunities in our neighborhood. Our focus will remain on inspiring the possibilities that help ensure that individuals with developmental disabilities have the same opportunities and life experiences as every other citizen.